Bien. YouTube. Okay. Being a sexual deviant is cool. You know, it's so crazy because now that I see, it's like every time I listen to uh, YouTube videos and I listen to story times and stuff like that, people talk about sex like it's something like so cool. Like, it's funny because I was listening to this uh, YouTuber the other day and she was talking about uh, 303 days. Um, somebody asked me a question. Uh, she was talking about, you know, how she was doing some things with a uh, a guy and another girl and she was just kind of talking about it like oh my gosh when I say that she could uh, eat the kitty oh my gosh it was just, it's just like why do we feel like we have to be so open with our past sexual life I, I, I think it's to the point where I think like I said being a sexual deviant it's cool like it's something to like uphold because now when I get on Facebook when I used to get on Facebook it used to be family friendly content for the most part now you get on uh, YouTube or YouTube and Facebook and what do you see only something about a ma a wife and a husband or a girlfriend and boyfriend and all the sexual stuff. And, oh, man, uh, I, we just got done having sex. We just put the kids to bed, so now we can have sex. And it's just like, oh, my gosh. It's just so old, man. It just gets so annoying. Hold on, guys. Oh, whatever. It just gets so annoying to, like, I guess not annoying. I just, I guess I'm just kind of over listening to uh, people want to be sexual deviants. Like it's, it's, it's to the point where 30 year old, 40 year old and 50 year olds, we all still talk about it. Like it's cool. We've seen the rise in MILFs and we've seen the rise in Cougars. And it's just like, man, it's so sad to see even older women who are in their forties and fifties who are normally supposed to be, you know, teaching uh, their daughters or their sons about life and all these beautiful things. Instead, they still want to get out here on the streets. They still want to wear their tights. They still want to get in the bikini. They want to prove to the whole world. They want to prove to the whole world that they're still pretty and they're still sexy. It's just like, you're 40, ma'am. You're 50. Who cares? Who cares if you're seen as sexy? Like, what? It, why do you need the validation of the world to know that you're still sexy and you can still have sex with the best of them? It's like we all get stuck in this childlike state when it comes to sex. Like, we can't let it go. Like, I, I y'all know how I feel about sex. You know, I think you should wait till marriage. But even if you don't and you're, you you decide you're going to be sexually active, screw marriage, whatever, it should still be some adulthood to that thing. It shouldn't be like, oh, man, I'm going to go tell my buddies I had sex with this one chick on Tinder. It's like, it's like, man, is she even human to you? That's what sexual deviancy will do to some people. It starts making people become objects. Like when people, uh, when women and men talk about how many people they've had sex with or they don't want to mention their body count, it's just like, yeah, because <laughs> it's kind of sad that you even have to say body count. Like think about how dehumanizing that really is. Not how many people have you uh, taken an intimate part away from them. Um, how many people you've uh, um, had sex with with no love. You just treated them like a toy. Um, you use somebody for pure pleasure. It's not about that anymore. It's about oh, how many bodies do you got? What's your body count? How many people did you not even care about enough? You just wanted to have sex with them just to feel better about yourself because you could. Like when is I don't understand why sex is pushed to this point where it's like a status symbol. It's something that can push you to this new place. Like, oh my God, I had sex with 15 guys. So now I'm that girl. Or if a guy has sex with 15 girls, he's like, oh, I'm that dude. It's like, what are you? I mean... I hate to say this, but it, it sounds disgusting saying it, but it's like, what are you, 13? Like, what are you, what, why are you talking about sex like it's, it's something to be a hold? What about building a business? What about um, raising a family? What about being a father? What about being a husband? What about doing something for your local community? What about those stuff? And it's to the point where now my generation, us millennials, I think we're the worst about it, but everybody has thinks their generation is the worst. But my generation now, even when you get on YouTube, if you watch any gamer, most gamer YouTubers, right, and YouTubers that are in the anime, how do they talk? They always talk about the anime characters as if they're sexual. Like, like they looked at it. They look at a cartoon that was drawn and goes, "Man, she's thick. Oh my God, what I would do to her." And it's crazy because it's even to the what was that? Even to the point where it's like, I was watching this YouTuber and he was playing this game, and it was representing high schoolers, right? All right, make sure everything's still cool. 
she was representing uh, the 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 kids in the game were high school kids, and even the YouTuber couldn't help himself from saying, "Oh man, she's so sexual. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at how big her breasts are." It's like you do understand in the game, she's a high schooler, she's a kid, and that's the point. You get desensitized. You just see a drawing, and even if the the drawing is supposed to represent a child, these people still say disgusting tough. It's tough. And it just gets worse and worse, man. I just, I know, I feel like I sound like the old man on the block, but I think people are starting to realize that just letting go and being and having sex for just for the fun of it, even when you're in your twenties, which I understand, you don't understand much when you're in your twenties. I think I'm, I'm thinking people are finally maybe kind of opening their eyes to like, uh, maybe it ain't worth it. Like, what do you gain by having? What do you gain by being sexually deviant? This is what's really going on. And this is what I've learned. I've done it. I've been sexually deviant. I'm not going to sit here in front with y'all. But what I've learned, and I'm really not even talking to 20-year-olds because I know I can't really get through to 20-year-olds. You're going to do what you're going to do. But I'm really talking to 30-year-olds. and up Because I still see people in their 30s having sex like that, and they understand. I mean, you're in your 20s. You might be figuring it out. Sometimes you get raised in the wrong environment. I understand. But when you're in your 30s and up, you know what's going on so i'm really talking to the older people here but you know if you you know you're not older than it is what it is but it's it's to the point where i feel like people want to stay stuck as a child they don't want to deal with adulthood they don't want to deal with the responsibilities of teaching the younger people they don't want to deal with life our people my generation's gotten so stuck on being depressed and having mental health issues which is real problems but they don't want to go on they don't want to go on and i understand what it feels like to have really bad anxiety and uh, feel depressed and all the things but life has to go on we have to teach the people who are beneath us because if we just continue to just walk around and be like hey go go make sure you go get uh, uh, chase money and women just go get what you got to get go chase the money and men make sure he got a big thing on them you know and make sure he blow your back out and dudes just be like man i guess you got to have that kitty cat i gotta have it I just think and I also think and I've said this before sex is not even about building a family anymore being a sexual deviant is pretty much you want no discipline in your life when people think about having sex they think about oh the chains are off me oh my gosh I can now have sex I feel so free no you're even more of a slave than you were before you think if you just take off the chains and go live crazy go drink go get high and just have sex you think you're really letting off the chains and just being yourself and flowing with the wind and it, you're really not you're, you're actually putting yourself in more chains because what you think is really being sexually free you're really just um, giving yourself a relief. That's all it really is. It's the same thing, as, and I'm, this is a better analogy. When somebody's at a job that they don't really like that much, and they think that when they quit, they quit that job, they go get on TikTok and be like, oh, I quit my job, I'm so free now. Yeah, you're free and broke. See, because what you've done is it's not really about you quitting your job and being free from your job. It's about going to your job, and now you don't have those now you feel relieved that you don't have to fight actually having to do something you don't like. You don't actually have to fight going to a nine to five. And that's, it's just, that's just not the truth. When it, comes, when it comes to living life, there just has to be disciplines. You, you shouldn't need to go out there and have sex with everybody. You shouldn't need to go and quit every job you hate. People fight so hard to find this place of serenity and peace but they think they find it by just doing nothing they think they find it by being like not having any responsibility that's why so many people want to be youtubers and twitch streamers they want to have they just they feel like they want to just get on stream and just make money and it's going to be easy and one is not but two it's just like people want this this no discipline in life they just want to live free and make money and you know what ends up happening they end up sad and depressed isn't, if you think every Twitch streamer and every YouTuber is just living in this mental bliss, no. The people who are who are happy as YouTubers and live streamers are people who love what they do, and that happens to be something that they're great at and they enjoy. 
it's not about doing the live stream and being a YouTuber. It's not that it's you being a YouTuber and a live streamer doesn't make you inherently happy. It only makes you happy or somewhat fulfilled if you already enjoy doing those kind of things. If you're doing it simply to be happy, you're going to find yourself in a dark place. That's why you see big YouTubers and other um, streamers and all of them just quit and just disappear. And you never hear about them again because for them, it, it's not that it doesn't matter if they have a million followers. They don't care. Because you might think, oh, if I had a million followers, I would feel this way. You think that. See, you would be a YouTuber to get the numbers. And there's other people who get who do YouTube and have five followers, five subs, and they don't care. Because it's fun for them. They love it. It's always going to become a job if you happen to blow up. But at the same time, I just think that's what um, is happening now. I think that's why so many people like to be sexually deviant. And that was the same thing I did. What's up, man? I used to do the same thing. When I was being a sexual deviant, I thought I was being free, letting myself do whatever I wanted to. But at the end of the day, it, it didn't make no difference. I ended up I ended up more depressed than ever. Because if you live your life trying to live with no discipline and just do whatever you want and try to be relief, you're just going to find yourself in more chains. Because those moments that you think are so freeing. Look, look, I'm going to say one last analogy and I'll shut up. Imagine every Friday, you and your girlfriend or your wife or your best friend y'all go out for pizza every friday night right and you watch a scary movie or you watch a, a rom-com every friday when y'all get off work y'all do that y'all enjoy y'all's friday here's what ends up happening when people say they just want to not go to work work nine to fives or anything what ends up happening is now every day is friday every day you eat pizza every day you watch a rom-com at night every day that happens all of a sudden, you start finding yourself very stagnant in life. All of a sudden, you're starting to put on weight because you eat pizza every night. All of a sudden, you're not moving around as much because you don't work. All of a sudden, your brain is not really functioning because you waste all your time being on social media just scrolling random videos, right? Eventually, if every day is like a Friday, it will become boring. Every day becomes a Friday, then Fridays don't matter. The little moments in life that make you happy stop mattering when you decide that you want your whole life to be just pure happiness or you at least strive for that. No, life comes with dealing with hardships life comes with going to work and life comes with tragedies it's it, that's what makes the moment so much better and so I, I i relate that to having sex and being a sexual deviant sex is not that great if you're out there trying to get it every second of every day it is much different when you're having it with somebody you love and are married to okay and you're having sex in those moments it means so much more that you waited for that special somebody you waited for the person that you were going to marry Instead of just doing it with everybody, it becomes less special and becomes more of a just a pleasure. And every time you get done, it's not going to feel as fulfilling as you think it was. When you finally climax, it does not feel the same. It's going to get to the point where either you're going to need more of it or it just makes you sad when you do do it. You're just like, man, I can't believe I gave into that again. I had sex with some random girl that I don't even know just because. Same thing with women. Oh, I had sex with some guy. I let some guy take my take another piece of me and see me naked and make a video of it and all oh, just because I wanted to have fun it didn't work alright okay YouTube kick piece